kingdom chromista so in the previous lectures uh, we have discussed about to protozoa the different uh, phylum that comes under protozoa that is plasmodia peromycota uh, acrasiomycota myxomycota and all those things that we have discussed in the previous lecture now uh, in chromista now uh, we are going to concentrate on what are the different kinds of uh, different phylum that comes under this chromista along with the fungi that we need to take into consideration i mean shankar reddy phd plant pathology so this is a kirketal classification so we have in the previous lectures we have already finished the protozoa now we are going to see chromista in detail about this uh, chromista also known as uh, straminophila or uh, straminophila uh, this uh, chromista is uh, divided into mainly three phylums oomycota hypochytriomycota and labyrinthulomycota in this lecture we are going to see the general characters and the general overall classification about this oomycota and the different orders are the important fungi that we need to uh, must concentrate on this oomycota uh, regarding a uh, hypochytriomycota detailed lectures will be published on lecture number 27 along with uh, regarding a uh, labyrinthulomycota detailed lectures will be published on lecture number 28 this uh, like having uh, just uh, like a general introduction this uh, chromista was a biological kingdom that was created by created by the british uh, biologist uh, thomas calvert smith 1981 just to differentiate the protists uh, typical protozoans and plants he just created this group uh, dn patterson 1989 uh, used the term straminophiles or straminophiles based on the uh, having the unique to type of a flagellum or hair like structure so in uh, having flagellum with the uh, anterior tail cell and posterior biplash is the general uh, uh, important character so based on this uh, flagellum hair like structure uh, he used uh, straminophiles or straminophiles in 1989 and 89 now we will see in detail about uh, Uh, chromista that is especially oomycota oomycota generally contains around 8 important orders around 27 families 92 genera around 800 species 800 plus species of fungi around in between 800 to 1000 species now in this uh, uh, lecture we are going to see the what are the different kinds of orders i'm just going to tell you the orders from the next lecture onwards uh, in detail about every single order uh, we will uh, publish the general this phylum oomycota is alternative called as pernosporomycete that was given by dick he is also very famous systematist and taxonomist this phylum oomycota is generally cenocytic cenocytic means it contains no septa in the fungal uh, mycelium if the cross walls are present it is called septate if there is no cross walls in the septa it is called aseptate this aseptate mycelium is also known as cenocytic mycelium which do not generally forms any cross walls and uh, one more characteristic feature is the formation of a motile spores that is a juice spores the formation of a motile spores is also one of the uh, important uh, characteristics spherical and elongated sporangia is uh, produced in this uh, uh oomycota generally the motile asexual spores along with the uh, juice sporangia is formed we'll see the what are all the most important and uh, general characteristics this uh, oomycota oomycota possess uh, this oomycota is also known as egg fungi so just remember what are all the points that we are mentioning now that is not only useful for your semester examination but also for various kinds of entrance examination like net whatever the exam it is related to plant pathology the videos that we are publishing now is really important because we are spending a lot of a significant amount of time compared to uh, other working whatever we are doing rather than that we are also spending the other significant time to gather all the information to make it as uh, the best information possible and deliver for students so hope you guys understand and you guys already uh, seeing from uh, it's been almost 3 to 4 years the kind of videos that we are publishing is not that much easy so hope you guys understand so just uh, I, i just the, the the points that what we are mentioning the point that we are going to discuss is uh, the most important points and the uh, the most significant points that uh, we need to consider no point cannot be no point uh, can be neglected here because we don't know what what kind of questions that will come in exam right so the, all the points are important so let's come to the point uh, 
this oomycota is generally known as the ig fungi also known as the pseudo fungi also known as jusporic fungi these are all the other names we can also call as synonyms right so it, it, uh, i saw this question in uh, uh, the previous year questions like uh, which of the following fungi is also known as egg fungi because it produces an egg like ugoni oospore right so egg fungi also called as pseudo fungi because it's not a true fungi it's a pseudo fungi or fungi like organisms why it is called a juice sporic fungi in the life cycle it produces so juice spores right so the cell wall is made up of cellulose plus hydroxyproline that is also very important because generally the fungal cell wall is made up of a chitin but when it comes to oomycota oomycota group of cell wall is composed of cellulose plus hydroxyn that constitute from beta 1 comma 4 linkages it is a well developed branches filamentous cenocytic mycelium is uh, produces the fungi as i told you that cenocytic uh, in uh, hyphae if the cross walls are present it is septate if there is no cross walls or empty mycelium without cross walls is known as cenocytic mycelium the cenocytic mycelium is also known as a septate mycelium or cenocytic mycelium that is the most characteristic feature of uh, this oomycota group of fungi uh, most of the members of this oomycota are uh, aquatic. Some members like uh, saproligneals and pernosporals can also be able to grow on the soil and attack the terrestrial plants. This uh, one more important feature is this is very 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 important feature. I have already uh, encountered uh, this kind of questions in uh, previous exams uh, like uh, the production of uh, biflagellate juice spores with anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash is important one. Tin cell means with hair, anterior means upside direction. Posterior means downward direction, whiplash means no hair, right? Regarding types of flagella and all those things that we have already published in the previous lectures. So, the production of a biflagellate juice pores with anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash is the special feature of a oomycota flagella, oomycota juice pore. Then the oomycota can reproduce by means of both sexual and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction is mainly by with the help of motile spores that is a juice spores and asexual reproduction happens through gametangial contact. Gametangial contact in the sense where male and female gametangium come in contact with each other and exchange their gametes. So the sexual reproduction, the types of sexual reproduction is we already published in the previous videos in the same mycology playlist itself. So here uh, male organs are called anthidium, female is called oogonium. So the type of reproduction here is a oogamous type of reproduction. So this uh, oogonium and uh, anthidium come in contact with each other. A small tube is formed that is called a fertilization tube. And the exchange of these gametes will happen. And they fuse and they form a, a thick walled resting spore that is known as oospore. Here the sexual spore of uh, oomycota is a oospore. Here the asexual spore of juice spore, asexual spore of oomycota group is juice spore. All the fungi that comes under oomycota group will follow the same rules. Asexual spores as juice spores, sexual spores as the O spores. And one more the special feature that we already discussed, juice spores are biflagellate with anterior tinsel and posterior whiplash type of flagella. And the gametes are non-flagellate. I repeat, juice spores that is a Spores are uh, flagellate only, but when it comes to gametes, male gamete or female gamete, anthidium and oogonium we discussed, right? Those are non-flagellate, which contains no flagella, and the uh, and the fusion of this male and female gametes results in the formation of thick-walled resting spore that is known as oospore that we already discussed. Some couple of important examples are like late blight of potato and the grapes downy mildew, of course. Other fungi also comes under, but I gave just uh, two examples like Pythium afanidermatum also comes under, saproligneals, various other kinds of things also comes under but i just mentioned some the most significant and important fungi one is a lead blade of potato pied of the infestants a grapes a downy mildew plasma para viticola so the notable differences between a true fungi and a oomycota group of fungi what are all the notable differences especially uh, in the in terms of related to synthesis of amino acids and synthesis of lysine and various other sterile metabolisms how this true fungi how this oomycetes actually differ from this true fungi when it comes to true fungi the lysine was synthesized via alpha amino acid pathway when it comes to oomycetes the lysine was synthesized via diamino acid pathway as like of higher, higher plants. This is most important one. In MCQs also we may expect this kind of questions only. The synthesis of lysine 
a lysine in true fungi can uh, uh, gone through which of the following pathway alpha alpha amino acid or beta amino acid or di amino acid something like that. the true fungi synthesis lysine in alpha amino acid pathway whereas oomycetes synthesize the lysine in a di amino acid pathway these are all the one important feature the second one the type of sterol present in true fungi is ergosterol and when it comes to oomycetes the type of sterol is fucosterol food storage organ in true fungi is a glycogen whereas food storage organ in oomycetes is mycolaminarin so these are all the some common features that we can differentiate this oomycota group of fungi to uh, true fungi and uh, these are all the things we are going to discuss in detail about this uh, phylum oomycota contains eight orders saprolignales pithiales peronosporales sclerosporales leptometales rifidiales olfidiopsidales mysocystiopsidales these are all the important eight orders importance in the sense eight orders are there as i told you that i want to i we just plan to do the mycology in a very detailed way with an easy understanding that's why we are giving uh, every single order don't worry about all the orders but the only important uh, consideration that we are going to this first four orders only saprolignales pithiales peronosporales sclerosporales if you ask me the only two genera pithium and peronosporales pithiales and peronosporales are the most important but we are going to discuss uh, in detail and uh, most uh, uh, the important points in uh, each and every single order these are all the eight orders that we are going to discuss one by one and this is uh, chromista it is divided into uh, saprolignomycetes and uh, peronosporomycetes this uh, peronos uh, saprolignomycetes that is saprolignales uh, just now i told you eight orders right saprolignales pithiales peronosporales sclerosporales and all those things uh, will be there that we will discuss in the uh, from next upcoming lectures on what uh, we are we just divided every single order for example if it is a saprolignales we have a separate video for saprolignales all those things like life cycles if required and all the important fungi what kind of diseases it will cause all those things that we are uh, uh, placing in that particular video if it is a pithiales all the what are all the different kinds of fungi that comes under pithium and the life cycles and the important fungi that can cause diseases in plants all those things uh, we have uh, we are already we have already planned and doing the videos and the next phylum is uh, hypochytriomycota uh this contains uh, six genera 23 uh, 23 species uh, in detail about this hypochytriomycota we are going to see in uh, lecture number 27 again same labyrinthomycota this contains uh, two important orders labyrinthales and uh, thrastrochytriales uh, that we are going to see in detail about uh, lecture number uh, 28 and i told you i mentioned you one point that uh, majority of the fungi that comes under almost all oomycota group of fungal cell wall is made up of cellulose a little amount of hydroxyproline also but there are very few fungi there are very, uh, some fungi even though they comes under oomycota their cell wall is made up of chitin but the remaining members as i told you 800 plus species of uh, fungi were there in uh, oomycota right so only this uh, four or five species contains chitin in their cell wall the remaining members contain cellulose plus hydroxyproline the questions will be fall like this so oomycota group of cell wall is composed of cellulose but which of the following fungi even though they are comes under oomycetes their cell wall is made up of first chitin these are all the fungi achaila aphidochaila saprolignia leptometus these are all the fungi even though they comes under oomycetes group of fungi their cell wall is made up of chitin this is a little bit important and 2019 prop not exactly maybe 21 this question was asked which of the following oomycetes group of fungi containing a chitin in their cell wall so such kind of question also we may expect so these are all the some important points uh, for consider uh, just uh, we need to consider for uh, various kinds of exam especially net further more information uh, student can refer this book a vision into plant pathology complete student version for further guidance and uh, clarifying doubts students can reach us at www.geekresearcher.com Stay geeky and stay tuned. We are Team Geeky Researchers.